Hello there YouTube. It's Super Brain AK here again. Um today I've made myself a voltage multiplier. This is my 555 timer circuit. And there's transistor here. Little LED showing the os trans the 555 is oscillating. And this transistor is powering this uh uh, transformer. I guess it's technically still called a flyback transformer, except it's out of a uh, inkjet, or not inkjet, laser printer, and it's some high voltage uh, transformer. Normally gets 20 volts, but today I'm just using the 5 for from this little tiny wall wart there. My guy. 5 volt 700 milliamp. Um, this is going to be constantly oscillating, and but this is my old switch to connect this to the 5 volts. See, this wire goes up and around to my 5 volts, and the collector to the transistor. And so, here is my believe it is a three stage multiplier there's stage one there stage one two there and there's stage three don't quite know I believe that's correct and there is going to be my high voltage output there and I was trying some capacitors to see the different arcs which is it's pretty cool what <laughs> results I can get out of this. So I'll fire it up and show you guys. I switched my switch. Here's the ground lead and that's the high voltage. Yep, let me turn off the light. Because it's a voltage multiplier, it isn't going to be. It's going to take some time to come back up to the voltage to spark. The closer you get it, the higher the frequency it can arc at. That's pretty cool. Now let's try with some capacitors. Don't quite know the voltage rating on these. But I believe this is a 472, so that's 1,720 picofarads. You see that spark that I when I plugged the capacitor in, because this was still charged. Always make sure you discharge it before using again, <coughs> or before touching it again, I guess. Did it again. <laughs> Still charged. Okay. Those two are in parallel. Much bigger sparks. Looking at the screen on my camera. Oop, see that that was off. Take those out. Let's try these. I have no clue what these are. Very microscopic printing on these. These are 103s. So let's try this guy first. Yes, I discharged it this time, so there shouldn't be any sparking. Just about the same as those two others. 
discharge, remove capacitor, put these guys in. And I don't think these capacitors have any effect on the actual voltage. It's just the capacitance of it. Because I believe I am reaching the voltage limit for those diodes. And I believe those are high voltage diodes. Because in the circuit board, which I dropped and broke, it actually had cuts in the PCB. Mm. This was a little bit bigger capacitance. Turn it off. Discharge. Move capacitors. Now for the monster. This is 143, which is. 1.4 microfarads, I do believe. I don't know, you guys can correct me on that. But it is 1.2 kilovolt rating, 2 kilovolt DC rating. So I'll connect that up. Yeah, definitely wouldn't want to touch this because this thing is pretty darn loud. See if I can get it in here. Come on, come on, come on. Gosh. Sorry about this, guys. Uh oh, one more minute. Kapow. Much bigger actual discharges. Not all, any more volts, just the capacitance. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.